Hi guys, it's Femi here. Hope you're all doing good today. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about this video that Red Velvet Joy filmed with Vogue Korea, Vogue Korea magazine. So in this video, she learns about tarot card reading and how to interpret it. And she learns about it in the video and she does a bit of reading on herself and then on her manager, her manager's love life, right? And when she first does the reading on herself, she's like, as she learns about it, like she searches the internet because she's a beginner, right? And she's like, oh, some things are accurate, like some things are not accurate. Like if something about the reading is wrong, she's like, well, this is wrong. This is right. This is nice. This is this. So basically the reading she gets from the tarot cards is not 100% accurate according to what is going on in her life because this was a financial reading so it wasn't really accurate as per her finances her financial situation at the time but some parts were but you see because she's just a beginner this is what happens a lot of times you know it won't be 100% accurate because this is just to lure the person participating in tarot reading further into it so that you delve deeper and get more accurate because it's actually the spirits the familiar spirits and the other demonic spirits walking through the cards that help the person participating in it get more accurate and get better and better and you know like if you've done any type of research on red velvet and their songs and you know basically they are witches right and i've already explained to you guys before like your k-pop idols are witches and wizards okay most of them especially the successful ones especially the popular ones Another thing, this whole thing about this tarot reading, once again, is to influence the fans, right? You know, like I said before, if you engage in any type of occult practice of which tarot, tarot reading is, you're opening yourself up to demonic possession and oppression, okay? And at the beginning of this video, she's asked if she had ever gone to any tarot reading, had any tarot reading done before. And they say for fun you know they always say for fun they always uh, have you tried this for fun have you tried such and such occult practice for fun for fun for fun it's always for fun because the devil will never tell you the truth of what that practice is and she's like yeah i tried it for fun one or two times couple of times whatever whatever so she has already opened herself up because it doesn't matter if it's just once all it takes is one time for you to participate or engage in any type of way in any type of witchcraft or occultic technique or practice and you've opened yourself up that quickly that's how easy it is that is how easy it is so by her even admitting that that's her admitting that she already has demons in her because once you open up yourself you become possessed especially when you don't have christ because the holy spirit is the one that blocks away any type of incoming demonic possession in a person so if the person doesn't have christ and doesn't have the holy spirit as i've told you guys before our vessels they are open they are open for demonic spirits to inhabit them and possess them okay so forget what you see on the outside her you know her cuteness her beautiful appearance her talent whatever whatever this girl is a witch like she's a full-blown witch okay she's a witch she's possessed and now she's influencing her fans through this tarot reading to practice these things like i said also before it's not even just the idols the people behind this magazine right the script writers the people that came up with this idea that she should promote this and show this to her fans they are all being used by demonic spirits you know because the K-pop industry is demonic and satanic. And like I told you guys, Satan is always trying to get you guys to open up yourselves to demons, to demonic possession. He doesn't care how you open up yourself. And he's using these idols in powerful, powerful ways. They are smiling in your faces, acting cute and happy. But they are making you desire to open up yourself to demons by what they promote. You see that the devil is very clever and this is so wicked so wicked because if their fans get possessed especially their fans that know nothing about the gospel the fans don't know that only jesus can set them free so the fans are now possessed and going about their daily lives and they're depressed they're suicidal all sorts of things are happening they're sick you know they are going through all sorts of turmoil in their lives and they don't know why 
they don't understand why and then they'll go back and listen to red velvet music to get happy because the music k-pop music makes them feel happy makes them feel healed but it's the same demons causing them depression and causing them heartache and anguish and oppression that is leading them back to the satanic music so that they can get even more possessed and never find deliverance in christ the whole thing is wicked so i'm not even going to like play the full thing i'm just i'm going to skip through most of it you guys can watch it yourselves if you want but i want to show you the intro and basically the end so let's see 와 근데 이거 진짜 맞는 거 같아 언니 와 아니 진짜 맞는 거 같아요 이 타로가 조금 맞는 거 같아 저는 이걸로 불수입을 벌지 않을까 싶네요 네. 보그 코리아 구독자 여러분 안녕하세요 레드벨벳 조이입니다 <웃음> 네 오늘 제가 이 타로 운세 보는 법을 배워보고 And you see that snake-like effect This colorful snake-like effect that zooms around the ball. 다른 스태프분들의 운세를 한번 제가 봐 보겠습니다. That's a serpentine spirit. That's what it represents. Then you see the, you see look look look. Here she symbolically does the one eye of Horus, the eye of Lucifer. That is no coincidence. Nothing is a coincidence in the K-pop industry, okay? And you see the symbol on this cover. One of the most powerful powerful seals in witchcraft. The most powerful sigils that they use to summon up demons is the pentagram and the circle. Pentagram within the circle. And that is what is on this cover for the deck of tarot cards. So that already tells you that this thing is demonic if you know anything about satanism at all. You see the pentagram and they're using a beautiful K-pop idol, you know, to promote this witchcraft practice. I don't think she's ignorant of this thing. She might be ignorant of tarot itself, but she's not ignorant of witchcraft because obviously witchcraft involves a plethora of things, right? Tarot reading is just one aspect, okay? So you can't say, oh, just because she doesn't know much about tarot reading, she's not a witch. No, 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 no. She's already shown throughout her career in red velvet. She pledges allegiance to the devil through her hand gestures symbolism in their music, the agendas they promote, the things they support, the occultic demonic principles that they support in their lifestyle and through their music, okay? Let's Oh, you see that? So she's gone a few times for tarot reading. But she makes it sound just so casual, just like as normalizing witchcraft. Like, oh, just for fun, just for fun. Listen, all these things that you think are for fun, they are not, nothing is for fun, nothing is by accident. It's all to influence the fans. Okay? You see, she says here, and some are not correct, but I really like this kind of things. She loves the occult. She loves anything occultic. So basically, throughout the video, she learns step by step how to shuffle the cards, how to interpret the cards and she you know she searches online to help her um, understand how to do these things and then she does a reading on herself and then she does a reading on her manager and everything so let's go to the end where she gives her final thoughts on the whole thing <laughs> Oh, it's so much fun. It's more fun than I thought. So her fans, in fact, look at the comments. Look at some of the comments. Joy needs a show where she reads people's cards. This was so funny. I want more of Tarot Queen Joy. Imagine. Imagine. So her fans are receiving this as such a fun thing. 
The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Listen, you guys need to be, you need to be very, very careful. I'm telling you, K-pop is satanic. And these K-pop idols are leading you guys right into the lake of fire with the Antichrist. All these things are just opening doors. All these things that they promote are so demonic and occultic because like I said, the Korean culture, the Korean culture, remember I talked about the spirits influencing the culture and the people, you know, it's a demonic principality influencing Korea and all these pagan nations currently. We're in the end times, you know, these people, they don't know Christ, they don't have Christ. So they don't have a love for God, they don't have a love for godly things, you know. Just because they do good deeds means nothing. It doesn't mean anything because that's not what gets you to heaven. You have to believe on the God of the Bible, who is Jesus Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach. You have to believe on Jesus and accept him as your Lord and Savior. And if you truly believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord according to Romans 10, 9 to 10, your lifestyle will reflect that. That is why the Bible says, by their fruits ye shall know them. Because Anybody that is living in Christ or walking in Christ will bear fruit. Will bear fruit of righteousness. Fruit of righteousness. So interesting. I'm going to study the next time. My manager is going to study the next time. I'm so excited to study the next time. So please give me Red Velvet. <laughs> don't support them pray for them pray for her deliverance pray for her fans deliverance because what she's doing is wicked is very wicked with her innocent smile and beautiful face and pleasant demeanor she's introducing her fans to witchcraft witchcraft that will put them under such demonic stronghold do you know do you understand the kind of demonic oppression people that are engaged in witchcraft go through even though they are smiling in your faces and they act happy, these people are not happy. The Bible says there is no rest for the wicked. They don't have peace. They don't have rest. They are tormented at night. They can't sleep. You know? Demons harassing them. Things flying by. Oppressing them. Sleep paralysis. All sorts of things happening to them. Suddenly, please love you. 저는 여기서 이만 인사하겠습니다. 안녕. Wicked, wicked. So, and like I said, she's not the only one. Like you know, most K-pop idols they engage in witchcraft. They are witches and wizards. Just to give you another example, look at Fiona and Dawn also went to meet a fortune teller who revealed they were destined to be together. See that? So they do these things, these people are demon possessed because they've opened themselves up. And this is besides all the MK Ultra and other things that they go through within the industry by their company and their handlers. It's besides that, they themselves, they are interested in the occult because many of them will do anything, anything to reach the top. Many of them love success, they love fame, they love wealth, you know. So they open themselves up and they love their call, they love darkness, they love mystical things. They are not searching for the true God, they don't care about the true God because they want to live in rebellion, they want to live however they like, they want to live in fornication, they want to be able to curse, they want to do whatever they like, you know? Singers Fiona and Dawn appeared on SBS's My Little Old Boy as special MCs and revealed a bit more about their relationship. After being asked if they had ever done fortune telling for fun, Fiona revealed a fun story. There's nothing fun about it. We go to the fortune teller once every few years for fun. The fo you see that once again, for fun, they always say for fun. Oh, it's demonic. It's demonic. Nothing is for fun. The fortune teller told us that because we broke up in our past lives, here we see reincarnation again. You see that? We are able to meet again in this life. So you see the concept of reincarnation, past life, present life, future life, being talked about by many as many people because this is their, oh, the whole thing is deep. This is their belief system and it's demonic. It's demonic. So, 
they've already opened themselves to these demonic spirits, you know, through engaging in this practice of reading your fortune and going to psychics and going to mediums and all these things, you know. Dawn also revealed what kind of people they were in their past lives, giving viewers a good laugh. What's funny is that in our past lives, Kiona was a general and I was a famous geisha. They said that I was like a flower booming on a wall. You know, like in my video about the K-pop idols being hypnotized, how I mentioned that um, Enflange Chahun, he was a female in his past life, right? Quote unquote past life. And I told you guys, like, that's how demons cause people to be confused about their sexuality. And the next thing you know, these people think they're bi, they're transgender, they're gay, they're this and that. Even though originally that was not their orientation. That was not what they saw themselves as. So you see that, that um, the demons that spoke through the medium or the fortune teller that read their past lives, that told them about their past life, told Hyuna that she was a general implying that she was a male in the past life because most generals in ancient korea were male they were men right so hyuna was a man and Edon was a woman not only was he a woman he was a japanese woman because geisha is, is japanese right japanese courtesans and artists and stuff like that so he was a famous geisha and most of the geisha in ancient japan were women so he was a woman in his past life and Hyuna was a man. So the spirit has reversed their gender. You see that? Which is a perversion because they are male and female and the spirit is telling them, no, in your past life, you, the male was a female and the female was a male. You see that confusion, God is not the author of confusion. And you guys can watch my video about the K-pop idols being hypnotized for more details about this whole reincarnation lie and everything. But most of most of korea believes this most of korea believes this because it's part of their national belief system it's in their shamanic belief it's in their buddhism religion it's in basically all their traditional belief systems it's, in, it's basically in their national belief system you know because it's pagan and most pagan countries all around the world have some sort of reincarnation belief system okay that's no coincidence. So I'm not reading re the rest of the article because this is where it stops that applies to this video. So yeah, guys, it's not a coincidence. Like it's deep. Like stop following these idols, repent from K-pop idolatry. They are just leading you into into demonic oppression and possession. You know, through their music, through the things they promote, through the way they live their lives. Because look at Eden and Shona. They are always showing themselves kissing and all these things. You know. And people just see it as cute and everything, but this, they are not married, right? They are living together, sleeping together, doing whatever they want together. And it's okay, they, they fancy it as okay and they think they can do these things. But we as believers, we live by God's principles, godly principles, okay? You know, all these things are not okay. They are not okay in God's eyes. You have to love God and fear God and choose God's way, which is righteousness. Righteousness. Listening to K-pop is opening up yourself to demonic possession. Their music is one of the ways. It's not the only way. It is one of the ways to open up yourself. There are several ways that the enemy has created for people to open themselves up to demonic possession. And K-pop plays their part. They play their role. Both the idols, the company, the people styling them, um, the people doing their hair, the people managing them, everybody involved in the industry is being influenced by lucifer himself you know to influence the fans to think all these demonic things and practices and music it's okay but they are not okay so beware guys beware all right so that's it from me guys love you all till next time i'll see you guys in the clouds maranatha bye Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do, and they parted as raiment and cast lots.